Hey everybody and welcome back to Rogue Legacy and when we last left off, Zed Jarvan, the Divine Barbarian King, didn't do as well as we had anticipated. So now it's down to his descendants and we have Lady Hiroko, Sekutaki and Seguda. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a Paladin, Basic, Average, Class, Knife, Basic, Average, Magic. OCD is handy, tunnel vision is not, so I'm going to rule that one out. Archmage, we haven't really been using magic, and we haven't powered up our magic skills, so it's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, ADHD means you run faster, and we have a choice of three spells, but I'm not sure which, because we have spell cycle. We begin with the scythes, and we can cycle through two others. And if we go down, we also have another Archmage, who can't tell people apart and has electrophobia. Chickens freak you out. I figured out what that meant. It is. I looked it up, should I say? Uh, when chicken drops, it drops as a whole chicken that can then attack you. When you kill it, you get the chicken back. So that's a pain. And prosopagnosia. Or proso, prosopagnosia. Can't tell people apart. That means when we have our descendants, we literally don't know anything about them. We don't know their class, their name, their traits. So I think, out of all of these, we're going to have to take the Archmage. Prosopagnosia, not good. Tunnel Vision, not good. I think it's our first mage. Let's have a quick look. Yep, first Magic Class. Magic Classes are handy. They do have, like, a built-in... mana regeneration, I think, when you kill enemies. I think. I got 3,000 cash. What should we splash out on? Should we check out our inventory? First of all, look, uh, we are very weak, look, only 22 damage. But our magic, 46. And we've got scythes, if we cycle, we also have the giant sword. Cycle once more, we have the flame ring. Which is actually a really good one, it just eats through your mana so quick. So we'll stick with this for now, and let's talk. What do we got? Uh, not much of anything. Could buy a cape, but I just don't... Capes don't do anything for me. Runes. Cash money. Double jump. Retaliation rune. Better than nothing. In fact, I've got two... These are interesting. We might actually buy these as opposed to stats. Basically, when you get hit, you retain 50%, I think it is, of the damage you took. So let's say someone hits me for 20 damage, I'll hit them for 10, but if I buy this one and this one, if they hit me for 20 damage, I retain 20. And you can stack multiples, so you can retain like 250%, and I think there's also retaliation equipment, which is 500%. So if someone hits you for 20, you deal 100 damage to them. You know what, we have no other runes on here, why not get them? We now have a full set of runes across the board. Nice. Hey, Kenotophilia, and a trophy. Yes. Right, still two grand. Let us splash out and buy. I think we're just going to have to get some HP. If I round out this to five and see if we can get, have enough for that one too. That would be one, two. Nice. Now, we know we're magic, so strength isn't going to come in ha that handy, but you really underestimate how much... Overestimate how much we'll be using magic. We'll still be hitting things a lot anyway. Right, 92 HP up from 81, I believe it was. Eh, uh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We still have 400 cash. Surely we can spend that. Oh, we can. Alright. We can have magic damage up straight away. Good one. We have mana up, handy. Critical chance up. Currently have 0% chance to get a critical hit. Might be worth just throwing one point into that. I think we'll take... Yeah, let's throw one point into that. Bonk. We grew a tree! Bonk. Right, let's go fit seven coins, take a bunch, leave us a four. Yeah, so I believe we do regenerate mana with each kill. And we are now retaining 100% of any damage given to us if we get hit. Things like these, if they hit us, they will be destroyed. Because they really have no life. I want to find something to kill just to see if I can uh, regen mana. I'm sure I can. In fact, if I got options, sc 
Oscar Ware should tell me. Ah, Siphon, gain back seven magic points for every kill. We also have Vampire on something. It must be Rune, gain back one HP. Uh, retaliation, retain 100% of damage. Nice, I'll take that. Every kill gets us seven magic points back. Right, and with this being here, this should take to the underworld. Yeah. We don't belong here. Let's get out. <laughs> Whew. Right, I do have a bit of a story to tell, but I don't know who I actually want to tell it. I'm going back down there. There's a treasure chest down there, and I really want it, so I'm going to go get it. I'm probably going to die. Get this one. Right. Oh, hi, oh. One down. With some chicken. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Right, that's going to make things easier on me. And I will tell this story at some point, don't worry. Okay, okay, oh, oh. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nice. There's still stuff hanging around. As soon as I'm finished super concentrating in this really difficult... Oh, I'll find it the wrong direction. Now that guy is super fast. That is going to be tricky. I think we might be able to sword him though. Give me that. Back. Okay. Oh, can't believe we survived that. Right, let's get out. Let's check. Nope, let's go. Magic can come in quite handy. Right, give me both health and mana. Maybe tip the top of your ship. Yes, sir. Story, I went outside to water my tomatoes. Yes, I know I talk about my tomatoes a lot. Uh, forgive me. I'm just so impressed that I managed to grow some kind of life <laughs> in the barren, desolate lands of my clay-filled garden. Uh, and... Yeah, this is, might be... It might need, like, a trigger warning. This isn't some proper nightmare fuel style stuff. Uh, basically, turns out a spider had built a web across my entire doorway. So as soon as I walked out, just spider web all in my face. And this spider was a mean looking son of a gun. It looked like a miniature crab in a web. Uh, having that all over my face was, hey, scumbag, was very, very panic-inducing. And it's worth pointing out that I'm not scared of spiders or insects or bugs or anything like that. But this thing was big and ugly and looked like a crab. So it, oi, scumbag. It was not a good situation to be in. Uh, needless to say, instantly went upstairs and just, like, washed thoroughly <laughs> to make sure there was no... Spider remnants on me. Get away. Right, this bit's gonna be a pain because they can throw them up and I can't really do much to stop them. Oh! There's reactions. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh! Gad Box 2000? No. It's kicking my head and running at 2 HP. Open. Right, what do I do? What do I do? You go like this. Does it reach? It does. Oh, wow. How did I get so low on HP? It must have been that guard box. That must have done some significant damage, especially since it was a homing missile, right? Is it going to come to life? No, okay, phew. Sometimes these are alive and will kick your head in. Now these, I remember Niles are doing this and being a real nerd. He smashed up the barrels, but don't smash them up. Simply, oh. Basically, on Niles's, there was a treasure chest at the top and he couldn't reach it because he smashed all of them. I couldn't climb up again. Tiny bit of money, I'll take that. Yes, yeah, so I told my spider story. Ended up not, in fact, watering my tomatoes. But that's of little importance. I'm going to die if I go there. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh god. Is, how short was this run? This is a very short run. Hmm. 
Nah, uh, it was close to 10 minutes. That's what I get for choosing an Archmage. Not very good on the old HP. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see the next thrilling episode. Hopefully I get a better choice of character. For now though, goodbye. <laughs>